This story uncovers new video from a shooting in Old Town, Arvada, June 21st. You won't see anyone being shot, but you will see what really happened that day. Just after 1.30 in the afternoon, cameras captured Arvada officer Gordon Beasley walking in an alley toward Old Town Square. At the same time, Ronald Troik pulls up in his pickup truck. He parks, then gets out with an AR-15 following Beasley. At 1.35, Troy shoots and kills Officer Beasley. As the shots rang out, a good Samaritan Johnny Hurley was at the Army surplus store across the street. You can see him run toward Old Town Square pulling out his handgun. He then barricades himself behind a brick wall following Troik's movements. At 1.36, Hurley fires twice, killing Troik. Hurley walks towards Troik's body. Officers say that's when he grabbed Troik's AR-15, making them assume Hurley is the suspect. At 1.37, Arvada officer Craig Brownlow fired at Hurley from a nearby building. You can't see him, but Hurley is behind this tree, on the ground, still breathing and moving. And move. Don't move. Don't move. The Jeffco deputy making commands then grabs the AR-15 from Hurley. I, the dude that was alive, I grabbed his AR okay. and secured it in Sperry's back of Sperry's car. And he was a suspect? Yes. Okay. Both of those guys were suspects. It's apparent in the videos that these officers had no idea who the suspects or the victims were in this case and if there were more shooters. A chaotic scene that we're now watching unfold months later. I'm Darius Johnson, 9 News. Jefferson County DA Alexis King said Hurley acted like a hero and will be remembered for his selflessness.